past year and a half pandemic was rough on pretty much everyone, there's just no way around that. But few people have been affected quite as severely as NBA superstar Carl Anthony Towns. Prior to the onset of lockdowns around the world, the Timberwolves star often referred to as simply Cat signed himself a lucrative five-year, $190 million contract to stay in the city that drafted him, Minnesota. He then took a fair sum of that contract and plopped it down on a spectacular home in his adopted city. But ever since that moment, his life changed forever in ways he never would have imagined possible. But I'll get to that in a second. One silver lining though, aside from that mansion, is Kat's relationship with Jordan Woods. And today, well, we're gonna check out the luxury places that the couple calls home. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. If you're wondering what exactly went downhill for Carl during the pandemic, well, sadly, the virus set in and took more than half a dozen of his relatives away from him, including his mother, Jacqueline. As you can no doubt imagine, Kat has had a tough go of things since then. And he's even talked about losing his passion for the sport that has meant so much to him. In fact, if it wasn't for his relationship with Jordan Woods, Kat has no idea where he might be right now. Since going Instagram official with Jordan in September of 2020, these two have been practically inseparable. Whether they're hanging out at Kat's killer mansion in Minnesota or Jordan's own bachelorette pad in LA. At the time of this recording, it's said that the basketball star has an estimated net worth of $9 million, while social media star Jordan has a not too shabby $6 million of her own. So today, I thought I'd fill you in on how these two first linked up and how they've begun to build a new life together. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment, this one checking out the homes of Carl Anthony Towns and Jordan Woods. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat and now let's get into this video. Back in April of 2020, at more or less the offset of the worldwide pandemic, Carl Anthony Towns lost his mother Jacqueline to the virus. As devastating as that loss was, it was compounded even further by the fact that Kat would lose a further six family members to the disease, including his uncle. Only nine months later, in January of 2021, Cat would test positive for the virus himself. He received a treatment at a local hospital, then quarantined at home for a few weeks, isolating himself away from everyone. And it was during this time that he had no choice but to confront the sudden loss of his mother head on. It became the most difficult stretch of his young life, but one that would set him on a new course, he told people. I've had a lot of situations this year where things were just too much for me. I just remember quarantining in the house and it was more than just the virus for me. I felt like I was going through a holistic journey. In other words, during this darkest period of his life, Kat began to turn his life back around, and a huge part of that was developing his relationship with Jordan Woods. These two first met years ago through mutual acquaintances and quickly struck up a friendship. Over time, it developed into becoming best friends, and then, during the course of 2020, it became something even more than that. Simply put, in a relationship, timing is everything, and these two were able to bond closely over shared tragedy, because while Kat had recently lost many people, Jordan was also still dealing with the death of her father from a handful of years prior. With the support of Jordan, Kat overcame his struggles and found a new lease on life as the two became Instagram official in September 2020. Meanwhile, Kat's convinced that his mom had something to do with everything falling into place. He said during an interview, I feel in a way when my mom passed, she's like, I'm not going to leave you alone. I'm going to make sure you know who you are supposed to be with. Since taking their relationship to the next level, these two have been spending all their time with one another. So why don't we take a look at the homes that they cuddle up in when Kat isn't playing games on the road. After signing that giant contract in 2018 and prior to his world being flipped upside down in a short time later, Carl Anthony Towns picked himself up this glitzy estate located in the city of Medina, Minnesota that was once owned by ex-auto dealer Denny Hecker. Denny is a notorious automobile mogul who was recently released from prison after serving seven years for fraud. He sold the home in 2010 for $3.52 million to Peter Eckerlein, a Merrill Lynch and company executive. 
expensive. Peter then turned around and sold this home to Kat in September of 2018 for a million dollar profit of 4.52 million. This 17,251 square foot property comes with five bedrooms, nine bathrooms, your choice of indoor or outdoor pools, a hot tub, its very own putting hole, and a tennis court with accompanying tea house, and more. All of that is on 5.23 acres of sprawling land, boasting views of Mooney Lake with 200 feet of shoreline. Walking in the home, there's a grand curved staircase and double height ceilings like any impressive mansion, as well as marble floors underfoot. There's a great room nearby with a huge stone fireplace, French doors to the yard, as well as an attached lounge area surrounded by windows for a half solarium type of vibe. Kat's impressive abode also has a sophisticated wood paneled study or office with backyard access and elsewhere a cozier family room with another stone fireplace and windowed seating nook. This room is combined with the massive kitchen and dining area where there's endless options to grab a bite, even at the center island with cooktop. The mansion boasts a ton of other amenities from a billiards room with aquarium to a home theater and an indoor basketball court. Meanwhile, the warehouse sized room that hosts the indoor pool was built for entertaining, with a TV lounge, a full bar, and games tables. When it comes to Carl's master suite, it doesn't play around. This massive bedroom has two fireplaces instead of one. And while I'm not sure why that's necessary, it's definitely impressive. There's also a private balcony and marble ensuite bath. Now, the majority of the layout that you're seeing on screen are pictures from the former owner, so it's likely that Kat has instilled his own sense of style since moving in a couple of years ago. I'm also willing to bet that since Jordan started coming around, things have begun to change even more. Now that we have an idea of what Kat's home life is like, why don't we check out Jordan's? You might remember that only a few years ago, Jordan was spending a lot of time living with her former best friend, Kylie Jenner. Unfortunately, things ended somewhat sour when Jordan was kicked out of the house for that Tristan Thompson scandal. You all know what I'm talking about. By the way, this is something that Jordan adamantly denies ever happened. Either way, since that fallout, Jordan moved out of Kylie's place and into her very own bachelorette space in Los Angeles. After making the move, Jordan would occasionally show off her new pad in a series of Instagram posts in which she would keep her fans impressed about how much that she was loving decorating the place. For the most part, she seems to be all about that gray and beige color scheme in terms of her walls, furniture, and even floor tiles. She's also furnished her living room with a gigantic sectional sofa alongside floor length glass doors and a massive self portrait mounted not too far away from an equally large flat screen TV. Meanwhile, her open concept dining room includes one long table with four plush armchairs, which honestly is something of a first for me. I mean, I've heard of dining in comfort, but this takes things to a whole other level. I'm into it. And if those killer views just outside the dining room glass doors don't help with your digestion, I don't know what will. Jordan also has multiple bedrooms in her home, a top of the line kitchen, and what appears to be the makings of her very own arcade room. Considering what these two have been through in recent years, especially Kat, here's hoping that this works out for the both of them. And hey, Townsend's are looking pretty darn nice on the court this season. So let's see how far he can take the Minnesota Timberwolves this year. Now we've taken a look at the cribs Carl Anthony Towns and Jordan Woods are calling home, so what did you guys think? The NBA star's Minnesota mansion is pretty impressive, isn't it? I mean, how do you choose a favorite feature? I think that indoor pool and entertainment space is pretty hard to compete with though. That might be my personal pick. What about you guys? And the couple has a pretty nice place to stay at Jordan's crib in Los Angeles too. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if there's another celebrity's home that you'd like to see on here soon, be sure to leave us some ideas in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, don't forget to follow me over on Instagram and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!